that corruption is the glue that binds this country together. That when we take corruption away, the edifice called Ghana Enterprise will collapse. And I think this report quantifies in very practical, commonsensical manner what corruption means and what bribery means, the extent of the problem, the category or the categories of individuals and institutions who are involved. So something for me, this is one of the few times when a state agents is bold enough to scientifically prove these allegations that people have been making. But it's, it is not a surprise. I think the critical aspect, one is the recognition that this is a problem, we've quantified it, and we've brought it down in terms of developmental terms. How many schools can we build? The clinics, how many roads? But also more importantly that this cuts across different shades of individuals and institutions. So, I mean, corruption creates insecurity, it creates a sense of social injustice, it creates inequalities in society. And for example, sometime last week, the level of embeddedness of corruption through bribery, I mean, there yeah, are conceptual differences slight between the two, was when a police officer accosted my friend and actually demanded that the bribe that he was asking for must be paid through Momo. So we have made a report about that because MTN was kind enough to send us some of the details. But my shock in, in the quantification of the extent and the value of corruption that this report places on the table is that we are very good on the rhetorical side you know, flowery rhetorics of established institutions whose willingness and capacity actually to come to grips with this problem 